Good afternoon. It's September 9th, 2019. Um, gonna record a new episode for you. Um, as I've probably said before, but I'll start now. <laughs> I'll start today with this one. Um, all my all the experiences I share, views, those are of my own. They're not from um, anything in particular. Um, certain sources, certain um, books, because you know, I mean, there's many like Napoleon Hill books. There's other books out there that talk about positivity. Um, whether or not you're into certain um, philosophies, faiths, or what have you, there's many different sources you can um look into especially in the realm of um positivity or trying to better yourself better your life better everything so i'm trying to um talk about how these things are my experiences and um how i deal with certain things certain situations so today's i guess topic i i don't really know what to call this, but it would basically be your day, how a person will deal with their day. Um, the last one I talked about how I found positivity, how it helps me deal with, um, you know, negativity and um, things of that nature, and I'll probably in the future um, address certain things about how um, your environment and things like that play a role in how you may or may not maintain a positive mental attitude. Um, so you, you're waking up today, you are either had a really good night, and you're feeling, you know, a certain way because, you know, that feeling, that good feeling gone away, you're going to have to go back to your routine, or you had a bad night, car breaks down, argument with your um, significant other you know you people tend to wake up in different ways and it and as I mentioned before it depends on how you build your day whether it's finding a quote thinking of a good thing thinking about that good night you had the night before and you can use that as a tool to build from that you're feeling good you're you had an awesome night um, maybe you've seen a good band, you had good food, you had good conversation, you know, you're feeling really good, um, and you just kind of have to keep that going with maybe some positivity, things, something to keep you going, you know, keep singing that song, keep thinking about that, those conversations you had the night before, you're, you know, you're feeling good, you're not feeling overwhelmed with things, you know, I mean, as the day goes on, you can probably have situations where you're going to feel like um, you're overwhelmed or you're having problems or you know your routine everything's not going to go the way you you plan things to be so that's where you start your day and maybe start with a positive quote something that makes you you know happy something you know a, a good feeling maybe something that's going to happen in the future vacation something that will help build upon a day and build that foundation. I usually use that term foundation because when you build something you want something strong, something that will be sturdy to hold up um, that structure, your, your day, what have you. So you build that foundation of your day. Um, you have a bad situation. Maybe somebody wants to start trouble with you, maybe you're having trouble with some situation, maybe um, you get in a car accident, something happens, and your first instinct, I know for me personally, would be to react to that. You can, like anything, there's a fork in the road, you can either overreact, get mad, call so many names, start some some trouble or you can do as um, I've read in a book recently um, by Randy Blythe of the band Lamb of God he had his book about um, his time 
in a Czech Republic prison. And you have to read the book if you're interested in music, interested in true crime, interested in maybe being uh, arrested, you know, if you're into crime books and whatnot. It's a pretty good book. Um, there's a part of the book where he has mentioned um, both in the realm of recovery from drug addiction and from um, Zen Buddhism. And it's called to stay in the moment. So you have to stay in that moment and try to think clearly, try to assess it, or at least that's how I um, interpreted that line. Because it is something that you wanna you wanna stick with. You're in the moment. Now you have to prioritize, I use that another word I use a lot is prioritize. There's important things and that there's things that are not important. The important things are if you're in an accident, you're, are you okay? Can you walk? Can you feel what, what have you? These things you're going to have to think about, you know, because those are a top priority. And then there's things that are less important at that moment. Um, so you want to stay in the moment. Stay on that course. Stay in that mind frame of assessing the situation. I've been in situations where... Um, non specifically I could have real overreacted in situations. I could have done things that um may have got me into some trouble. And I had to stop what I was doing. I had I'm not a big person of faith, but something compelled me to kind of say a little prayer, kinda of think positively. Um and there were certain things that I thought about, about adversity, um, people who were being persecuted. And I was thinking at that moment, and that helped me stay in the moment, stay thinking clearly, thinking positively, not overreacting, because if I would have overreacted, um, you know, things would have been pretty serious. And, and that goes in various situations. Regardless of whether it's a big issue or if it's something really small, you have to stay in the moment. And with that ties in finding your peace, finding that moment, finding that thing that keeps you on that path of um, thinking, hey, you know, you know, whether it's counting to 10, thinking of, like I mentioned before, somebody being persecuted and how they didn't overreact keeping their faith and the term faith doesn't necessarily have to do with spirituality that's why you can say I have faith in a person you're believing in something you're believing in that moment believing in that thing inside you that keeps you calm keeps you thinking straight making sure that you don't do something that's going to be detrimental not only to the present but to the future it depends on how big it is so you have to find that peace find that thing inside you that you know keeps you going, keeps you not doing anything um, dire and serious. And then once, you, once you're once you at that peaceful place, take that path. Go down that road. Um, and by doing that, you're keeping calm, assessing, you're not overreacting, you're not panicking. You're thinking in a way that will... And it's not easy. It's totally not easy. You're just trying to keep it together <laughs> not being mad not doing something stupid um, for lack of a better term but you're on that path you're, you're going going to where your destination is and the journey there is not something that's going to be it may take a long time it's not something that's, that may not take um, hours or days it could take years Sometimes it takes years. But just like with anything, just like what I mentioned before, and it's been like over six years that I've been thinking about positivity, trying to build positivity, and I, like anybody, and maybe I'll address this in the next episode, <laughs> it's not easy being positive. Sometimes you can have, like I mentioned before, just a bad day, and how you deal with it will deal how you keep on that path. 
by keeping on that path you can build something that's not going to be detrimental to your health to your mental health I know that's a big I believe the month of September is uh, mental health awareness month so by doing these things not for yourself but for your future because no whether it's something small or something big it can take a very long time to to go down that road and deal with that stuff um, and it's not easy maybe um, to those of you that know about this podcast who know our this recordings these recordings rather because um, I haven't interviewed anybody yet I've reached out we're gonna have some guests hopefully soon um, you have questions hit me up um, if you know me personally or um, through social media um, ask me questions I'll answer them here I did that the last time I answered a question um, from somebody who was a two-parter but I answered that question you know and finding that place going to that destination going to where you want to go and it may help in other things maybe it may help you wake up something inside you maybe you've just been oblivious to life and things and you just kind of open your eyes so to speak you're waking up and you're thinking hey um I'm maybe things aren't going the way I need it to be and maybe I need to change it and <laughs> like with anything it doesn't come overnight it's going to be challenges adversities but by doing that you can work with that and you can I am you can find that place find that destination and you can make a better um, journey for yourself I want to finish off with this find the beauty in the situation there's beauty everywhere you can build from there and to try to make the conclusion how you want it to be the story may drag out but at some point it'll lead you to the next part of the journey that's up to you and where you want to go um, there's an old saying that some people fall down they don't want to get picked up um, paraphrasing at best but that's kind of how I've understand, understood certain things and by doing that you may not want to change you may not want to change your ways you may want to feel upset miserable maybe I'm leading on to what I'm going to talk about next time which may be um, as the quote goes you are the company you keep so the next time I'm going to talk about how you conduct yourself how your environment how you, the people you surround yourself with um, maybe the things you feed your mind um, those things overall will actually be either beneficial or detrimental to your journey and how you um, go your way go your path um, so till next time I'm gonna leave you off with this and hopefully next time there won't be so much ambient noise <laughs> neighbors and such but um, yeah till next time thank you for listening um, like subscribe um, hopefully if we can bring you into this and um, thank you you have a good day stay safe stay positive